Hey everybody, this is Tom with The Board Gamer. Have you ever accidentally learned something? I feel whenever that happens, it tends to stick a little bit more. I remember in schools, teachers used to always try and find ways to make sure the information they gave you stuck in your mind somehow. Today, we're going to talk about a board game, or rather, a card game, that was designed to teach without feeling like a lecture. So much so, that it was a teacher that created this game. Now close those textbooks and try your hand at creating enough healthy biomes with matching food webs to win a game of ecologies. Ecologies is a one to six player game for ages eight and up with a gameplay average of one hour by Montrose Biology. The basic overview of ecologies is to create multiple healthy biomes with matching food webs. The first to have 12 total points across their biomes wins, or in the case of a stalemate where all cards have been drawn from the deck and no player chooses to play a card that round, the game ends and the player with the most points wins. Game setup is simple. Grab the deck, shuffle it, deal seven cards to each player, and place the main deck in the center of the table. And that's it, you're done with setup. First, we will list what to do on a turn and then go over each action in detail. The typical turn order goes, draw two cards, trade, play two cards, and purchase. Now let's see what it looks like from a player's point of view. The player will draw two cards from the main deck and place them in their hand. The types of card available in the deck consist of biome cards, are locations for each card that follows. You cannot populate a void, so you need a biome. The next type of card you may encounter is an organism card. These cards are important because not only do they help create your food web for your ecology, but they are also what provide the points in the game. There are several types, but we will go over them later. The last card type you will encounter is the biotic slash abiotic factor cards. These cards can be played on yours or other players' biomes and provide bonuses or challenges. Do not play these cards lightly. Next is trading. This allows you to trade any number of cards from your hand with any other player's hand provided both parties agree. These can be random cards or go fish style. Anybody have any termites? Once any and all trade is complete, move to the play phase. You may play any two cards from your hand. Be aware, most cards come with prerequisites, which we will go over now. When the game first begins, you will want to play a biome card. Each biome is unique and has a color associated with it. Following that, the next most likely card you should play is a producer card, which is identified by the P in the top left corner. This creates a basic food available to be consumed by an organism. No organism can be placed in a food web if what it eats is not available. Let's take a closer look at this card. We already talked about the P on the left. In the top right, we have the total amount of points this organism is worth. And finally, in the text box, we have what the organism eats and what eats this organism. As an example, let's look at a complete ecology. Starting from the bottom, we have the biome. We have the producer card. And above the biome, we have the SD card. This organism 
usually scavenges for food or acts as the biome's decomposer. Hence, the S and the D. To the right of this card is the C1 organism, which is considered the primary consumer of this biome. The SD card and the C1 card share the role of primary consumers for each biome. Moving up above the primary consumers, we have a secondary consumer labeled with the C2. And above that, we have the C3. This all consists of a healthy biome and will grant you a biome bonus once complete. But if you add a C4 organism, you will be allotted major points, as you can see here. Taking a look at this biome as a whole, you can see that all the cards match the biome's color, as well as have an organism that they can consume. These two elements are required to play any organism. One thing to note, some organisms have split colors which indicates they can survive in either biome. But just like any other organism, what they consume must be present to be played in either biome. Let's go back to the final action you may take on your turn, which is the purchase action. This action allows you to draw one new card from the main deck for every four cards you discard. However, if you choose to scrap a biome that is already in play, you can get a discount and are allowed one new card for every three cards rounded down. This completes the actions you may take on your turn. Each player will at the very least draw two cards and play up to two cards if they are able on their turn. This will continue as each player builds their ecologies and gains points until one player has 12 points and in the game. And that is how you play ecologies. If you want more information about the game, check out the description where I have linked Montrose Biology's social media and the shop where you can purchase the game. This is not a sponsored video or ad. I just really enjoyed this game and wanted to share it with all of you. Thank you and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games. Thank you.